Senior Crime and Punishment Correspondent Marcos Ortiz, who joins us from Jackson, Wyoming, where authorities there are waiting for those autopsy results. Marcos, have they wrapped up their investigation? Well, one chapter of the investigation was closed tonight uh, as they cleared this possible crime scene. That happened at around 6 o'clock this evening. Now, once it was cleared, we were able to get closer into the campsite and have a possible look at where Gabby Petito may have been found. It's a makeshift cross made with river rocks from the slowly disappearing Spread Creek. Who put this memorial for Gabby Petito is unknown. But it's a somber moment as one looks upon it. Late Monday afternoon, federal and local authorities leave the Spread Creek campground after spending two days searching for clues related to the human remains found near the river bottom. A former NCIS forensics investigator knows what they're looking for. They're going to be looking for any evidence to be able to tie if it is, in fact, a homicide, any evidence that they can look to tie a suspect to that particular area where the remains were found and in connection with Gabby's remains, if those are in fact hers. Sunday, human remains believed to be Gabby's are found. Authorities want the coroner's confirmation. The human remains are now sitting with the Teton County Coroner's Office in Jackson. How did this person die? That's what everyone's waiting for. Petito's fiance, Brian Laundrie, may be the only one who knows. He's a person of interest, but remains missing. The possibility of violence between the two rears its ugly head last month on Moab's Main Street. The witness paints a different picture than what police determined later after talking to the couple. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. But no charges were ever filed in that incident in Moab. Tomorrow, we're waiting for the results of the autopsy. Could give a, a better picture who this actually is, how this person was uh, killed. Was it a murder or an accident? Live in Jackson, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.